Good day guys and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here or if you've yet to subscribe, please do so now as we've got a lot of cool videos coming your way. Today we're going to talk about five ways, cost effective ways that I use to market my automotive business. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so after three attempts of making this video uh, at the shop, I've decided to go for a ride because I was interrupted all three times with a noisy furnace, a noisy air compressor, the phone rang. So I thought, let's go for a ride and uh, see if we can get a quiet place. Hopefully, uh, it's a quiet place to do this video. Anyway, I ran into an old friend of mine uh, the other day who, in his infinite wisdom, has decided to open up his own shop. Um, he he basically asked me, you know, what's a cost effective way that I can put, do some advertising for the shop to get people in the door. Um, he knew that I'd been doing this for a long time and, and thought, you know, who better to ask than someone that's been doing it for a long time. So, um, I decided to give him five ways basically that are cost effective that aren't going to cost. He's just starting out. Although he probably has some money from working all this time. He's an older gentleman. Um, he, you know, he does, he's, he's on a budget. He want he doesn't want to spend a lot of money on advertising, but he understands that he needs to. So, uh, basically I told him five ways that I've figured out that work for me, uh, over the last 13, 14 years or so, um, that have been very effective. So I, I gave him a list of five. I thought, you know, I'll share them with you guys as well. This can apply to any business, not just automotive. Um, although, you know, I'm not a marketing expert by any means. I just know that this is what's worked for me and my business, but I'm sure these can be applied to any business as well. Okay. So we'll start backwards. We'll go for number five, the least effective, not, not effective, least effective in this list of five. Okay. Uh, number five being print media which is, I'm not sure if that's the right term, but print media being newspapers, flyers, that kind of thing. I grouped them all together. Um, newspapers. We have a local newspaper that's not very big. It's just, you know, a small town of Harrow. Uh, it's, you know, population of about 33 or 3,400, I believe. So it's very small. Um, uh, but the, the community seems to really embrace this newspaper. So, um, I've tried, putting ads in there with like cutout coupons and stuff like that to try to get them in the door. But I, it doesn't, it doesn't really work that way. It's more of a branding thing that I use the paper for where they see your name, it kind of plants a seed in them. And, uh, and next time that they're looking to get their uh, cars repaired, they remember the name and hopefully they come to us. Um, we usually do this on special occasions like uh or holidays christmas like we got an ad coming out for christmas we're running it for the next two weeks uh <coughs> excuse me this also seems to be the for, for some reason the most expensive way to uh you know or point anyway number five uh it's it seems to cost a little more than the other ones for some reason where number one is almost absolutely free so number five being a little more expensive with running ads in the local paper i also do flyers um i have one here that we've done in the past and we actually still use Use this in, in a certain uh, situation this is uh, basically a giveaway i mean for uh, 29.95 we do an oil change tire rotation uh 25 point inspection and free wiper blades uh which is you know difficult to do it's really a lost leader uh we had a um I found a sale on wiper blades a while ago and I bought a whole bunch of them and they were like less than two dollars and they were pretty good they were a michelin brand uh, so they weren't bad wipers at all, but we included those in this uh, promotion. Um, so we got a lot of good response in this. And what I did is these flyers, rather than the typical go to, you know, in every parking lot and put them on windows and stuff like that, where you get in trouble for doing that. Um, I approached businesses in town that we deal with. And uh, <clears throat> so stores, restaurants, that kind of thing where we frequent and we spend money there. I approached the owners and I said, listen, I've got a little stand with these uh, flyers on them. If you're willing to put them on your counters, um, I will service your vehicles for free uh, in terms of oil changes and give them discounts on bigger services like brakes or tires or that kind of thing. And they were very responsive to it and they said, sure. So I've had these flyers out in, in local businesses, two or three of them anyway, uh, and people are buying, you know, taking them picking them up and coming in with them. And I write on the back, you know, where they came from. So I know which location is, is a little more effective. Um, now keep in mind that when you do something like that, 
a lot of people that grab these are your current customers. So, uh, you know, you're trying to attract new customers, but they're, you know, the, the customers you already have see this sale and say, hey, I want that, right? So they grab that too. So just keep that in mind. However, it's okay. Current customers are good customers. They should get a deal as well. So um, unlike some <laughs> businesses that you call and they say, oh, that's only for new customers, right? You know, that, that'll work for anybody. Um, that's number five. Number four is video marketing. We, or if you've ever been to restaurants or waiting rooms and you, you see a big TV on the wall and they're running ads, 15, 20, 30 second ads, they're constantly running ads all the time. Those are our marketing companies that uh, put those TVs up in locations where they know people will be waiting, uh, such as medical centers, um, restaurants, uh, Service Ontario's where, where you do your licensing. I'm not sure what that's called in, in other countries, but here we have like uh, license bureaus where you go to get your licensing done. A lot of times the waits are very long there, uh, so there's nothing to do but stare at the TV. It's a good opportunity for marketing companies to put ads on them. Um, I was approached by one of these companies, and they have TVs in our local uh, places around Harrow, and uh, it's very, very cost effective. To, they came, actually helped me make the video. If you're not that good at making videos like me, <laughs> funny, I'm on YouTube, uh, but uh, they came and made a professional video for me. Uh, it was about 30 seconds long, I believe. And And uh, they, you know, there is a cost to it, but they, they spread it out on the monthly uh, cost, all right, the monthly fee every for the first year. After the first year, you you paid off that that fee for making the video, and then it just continues as a, a regular advertising fee. Uh, but again, it's very small. I think it was it's one twenty a month for us, um, and it's located all over town. And on, on, uh, like I said, Service Ontario's restaurants, uh, medical center where there's waiting areas. So th that's been very effective. I've heard a lot of feedback from that. Uh, some people get a chuckle out of our video, so at, at least they're talking about it, and that's the the whole thing. Again. This is something that you're paying money for every month and you're hoping that people come in. Uh, it's just a branding thing. It's just planting the seed in their mind that you're there. Number three, Facebook ads. This is a very low cost and effective way of getting your brand or your name out there. We have an ad that we've been running for a while for a dollar a day. It's a picture of our location. And when you click on it, there's a, a, a little uh, item there with a map. You click on that and it opens up a map of where we're located. And that's all it is. It's just branding. It's just getting your name out there. It's a dollar a day. It's very effective. We get a lot of Facebook page likes because of it, um, which, you know, the, the more people like your page, the more people are seeing what you're putting out there. Um, but this is a very effective way of running a promotion or an ad uh, for a dollar a day. We do uh, a, a tight circumference around our location of about 25 kilometers or so, because you can pick how, how big of an area you want to advertise to. I found for our, for my business, that the bigger that area is, the less effective it is. Um, people that are half an hour away, 50 kilometers away, don't want to drive all that way to save, you know, a few dollars. Sometimes it's even a sizable amount of money you, you, that they can save. They still won't drive out because it's a little inconvenient. So I found that just by making that circle tighter around 20, 25 kilometers around your location, uh, the Facebook ad seems to be effective and we get a lot of business from it that way. The number two way uh, of, of cost-effective advertising is video advertising on Facebook. Um, if you're not very good at making videos, um, maybe somebody in your in your organization or your staff is is a little better on camera there's nothing wrong with making a quick video on a promotion or a sale that you're having uh, currently we have a video out a quick 15 second video inviting customers from a, a local shop that has closed down um, that are looking for a place to service their vehicles. We are, we're inviting them through a video ad, uh, telling them that they, if they call, make an appointment, and it's their first time visiting us, they'll get a free oil change. Uh, this, this has been liked and shared by many in the last week, and it seems to be working out well because every day we're getting one or two people calling and asking for this promotion. So that, that's another way to use Facebook. And again, that, that costs absolutely nothing um, unless you promote it, of course, which if you want to boost the ad, you can pay a little bit of money. And uh, um, it, it's an, a good, effective way of advertising your business.
Now, the number one way that I advertise our business and it's, it's the most effective and costs the least for some reason. It's funny how that is, right? Number five, you pay, you know, you pay for advertising in newspapers and things. Number one, uh, is absolutely free to me. Um, this can apply to any business. Again, uh, what we do is giveaways. Okay. We do a lot of Facebook uh, giveaways. Um, we, I own a hockey team and this time of year when things slow down I'll grab two set or two tickets to the game on Sunday night and uh, I'll put them up on Facebook and say you know like and share this uh, this post and you'll be automatically entered to win these two tickets and you won't believe the amount of people that respond to this and like and share it and uh, you know we randomly select someone after and they win the tickets now the trick is not the trick but the promotion is they have to come to the shop to pick up their tickets uh in doing that they familiar familiarize themselves with where you're located but we also include a gift certificate for a free oil change uh, i attach it to the tickets i staple it to the tickets and this this is a way of you know giving people something for free but almost guaranteeing that they come back to you uh, to visit your shop. So with that free oil change, most people will take advantage of that and book their next service with you. And that gives you an opportunity to win that customer over. Uh, this is totally on you now. This is up to you on how you are with customer service um, and how your technicians are with, uh, you know, servicing their vehicle. But it's been very effective for us. We've uh, gained a lot of customers because of these giveaways. Um, there's There are customers actually that drive in quite a bit that have won uh, these, these, uh, giveaways and, and, you know, it's not just tickets. You say, well, I don't own a hockey team. Okay. That's fine. Listen, I was on Google or on uh, Best Buy today, just cruising through their website. And I noticed Google minis are $30 now for $30. I could buy one of these, do a giveaway. And believe me, if you can gain one customer from that, it'll more than pay for itself in the service that they give you in the future. So, you know, this can apply to anything. Doing giveaways to me is the number one way of gaining a customer. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed all that. I hope you can use this in some way. This is what works for me. Um, you may want to alter this somehow for your business, but believe me, these five ways are a cost-effective way of marketing your business. All right. If you guys have any other ideas, Please leave them in the comments. Give me a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.